Welcome to Everblue Training Institute's Introduction to LEAD. In this five-minute presentation, we will define LEAD, discuss the role of the U.S. Green Building Council, explain the LEAD rating systems, and the LEAD credentialing process. LEAD stands for Leadership in Energy and in Environmental Design. It is an internationally recognized green building certification system which provides third-party verification that a building or community was designed and built using strategies aimed at improving performance across all the metrics that matter most energy savings, water efficiency, carbon dioxide emissions reductions, improved indoor environmental quality, and stewardship of resources and sensitivity to their impacts. Developed by the U.S. Green Building Council, LEED provides building owners and operators a concise framework for identifying and implementing practical and measurable green building design, construction, operations, and maintenance solutions. There are a number of LEED rating systems available, and each was designed for different types of buildings. The U.S. Green Building Council, or USGBC, is the nonprofit organization responsible for their development. The USGBC was founded in 1993 and developed its first LEED rating system in 1998. Since then, more than 20,000 organizations have become members of the USGBC, and more than 120,000 individuals have become LEED accredited professionals, or LEED APs. There are a number of LEED rating systems which are grouped into five main categories. The first category is called Green Building Design and Construction, which contains five primary rating systems that are all focused on new buildings and major renovations to existing buildings. LEED for new construction and major renovations is designed specifically to guide and distinguish high-performance commercial and institutional projects. LEED for Core and Shell is a rating system for building owners working on core and shell construction. For example, someone building an office building that has not yet found tenants to lease space within the building could pursue core and shell construction. LEED for Schools recognizes the unique nature of the design and construction of K-12 schools and addresses the specific needs of school spaces. LEED for Healthcare promotes sustainable planning, design, and construction for high-performance healthcare facilities. Last, LEED for Retail recognizes the unique nature of retail design and construction projects and addresses the specific needs of retail spaces. The second major category is Green Interior Design and Construction, which includes LEED Commercial Interiors and LEED Retail Interiors. These rating systems were specifically designed for tenants leasing a portion of a larger building. The third category is Green Building Operations and Maintenance, which includes LEED existing buildings and LEED existing schools. These rating systems were designed for building owners and operators to measure operations, minor improvements, and maintenance. The fourth category is LEED for Homes, which was designed for single-family and multifamily residential structures that are three stories or less. It was modeled off of the Environmental Protection Agency's successful Energy Star for Homes program. The fifth and final category is LEED for Neighborhood Development, which integrates the principles of smart growth, urbanism, and green building into the first national program for neighborhood design. So who does LEED impact? The answer is anyone that is involved in getting a building built. From the building owner and architect on down to the contractors actually building a building, the entire building industry has a vested interest in making buildings that cost less to operate, are healthier and more comfortable for occupants, and are ultimately better for our country and our planet. Any of these individuals can become credentialed with any of the titles available from the U.S. Green Building Council. As of May 2009, the new credentialing system is broken into three tiers. The only Tier 1 credential available is called LEED Green Associate. Someone who passes the two-hour LEED Green Associate exam can demonstrate that they are an individual who possesses the knowledge and skill to understand and support green design, construction, and operations. Also, as of the spring of 2009, there are five Tier 2 credentials which are all called LEED AP+. The LEED AP Plus credential signifies an advanced depth of knowledge in green building practices. There are two-hour LEED AP Plus exams available for each of the five major categories of LEED, building design and construction, interior design and construction, operations and maintenance, homes, and neighborhood development. Someone who passes any one of the five exams is considered a LEED AP Plus. The LEED for operations and maintenance exam is available as of May 2009. The LEED for homes exam became available in June 2009. The LEED for Building Design and Construction and LEED for Interior Design and Construction exams will become available in September 2009. The LEED for Neighborhood Development exam will become available sometime in 2010. The third and final LEED credential is the Tier 3 LEED AP Fellow, which will be available in 2010. LEED Fellows would become part of an extraordinary class of leading professionals distinguished by their years of experience and contributions to the standards of practice and body of knowledge for achieving continuous improvement in the green building field. 
This credential is still under development. To become a Lead Green Associate, someone must first pass the two-hour, 100-question Lead Green Associate exam. In order to take one of the Lead AP Plus specialty exams, a person must first demonstrate that they have experience working on a lead project. Once they have documented their experience, they are eligible to take any of the two-hour, 100-question Lead AP Plus exams. Everblue Training Institute is a veteran-owned business and the largest lead training provider in the United States and offers training seminars to prepare individuals for the various lead exams. Our award-winning instructors have trained thousands of students and are the standard bearers for lead training in the United States. In addition to live training, Everblue also offers online practice exam questions, online live training in the form of weekly webinars, and online anytime training so that students can learn about lead and prepare to pass any of the lead exams without leaving their homes. For more information, visit our website at www.everblueenergy.com.